This is Gordon Telepins from Solar Eclipse Timer, and today I have the privilege of um, visiting American Paper Optics in Bartlett, Tennessee. Now, I visited here before. I came after the eclipse in 2017, had a wonderful tour, uh, met with everybody here, just love this place. And they are really busy now, getting ready for the 2023 annular and then the 2024 total. And they were nice enough to let me have some time with them today uh, with their busy schedule. I'm talking to the owner right now, John Jarrett, and uh, he's busy, but he's taking the time, uh, taking out the time to uh, let me speak with him about things. And then we're going to take a factory tour, and I'll put those clips in the video uh, later. So, John, how are you doing? We're great. We're flying, but we're great. <laughs> it's a busy time, but it's exciting. It's exciting. I want to start off by showing you a picture. Two pictures, actually. Do you remember this in Memphis? I do. I do. We wanted to build the, the world's largest pair of eclipse glasses, and we did. I know. Time. I know. Uh, we just made them a little bit too heavy to transport around, but uh, they were amazing. They were about, mm, I think they were about 18 feet long. I know. Those are incredible. So the, the reason I remember those pictures and I wanted to bring them is I came across that on the Internet. And that's how I knew then where you were located, that you were just located in Bartlett, Tennessee. And since I'm from northern Alabama, I knew, you know, at some point I could get up here and visit you. So that article is special to me uh, because, you know, learning, you know, where, where your factory, you know, was located. Uh, when I was here in 2017, uh, Jason told me a story about um, you selling glasses here at the facility. And obviously you're a manufacturing facility, not a retail facility. But you were setting up a, a tent outside and, and people were coming to the last minute to get glasses. What, what was that all about? Well, the last couple of weeks, people started realizing that they needed glasses. So instead of buying them online or going to our website, they started, mm -hmm. the local people started driving out to our plant. And so they started ordering and disturbing the receptionist. And so finally we said, okay, this is getting to be a little crazy. Uh -huh. There's more and more people coming. And the last three days, we set up um, oh, about a dozen of our employees just a little bit down at the other end of our facility and started taking orders there. And um, it was out of control all the way up until the last day. Actually, while the eclipse was going on, people were buying glasses. And then we said, okay, no more. And it was actually raining. <laughs> our production manager, Kevin, who had stayed behind, did not go to the total, said he had to basically lock the doors. People were banging on the doors trying to get more glasses. No, he said, that was it. Done. Those stories are amazing. 2017, it was amazing. And, you know, I think 2024 is going to be even more amazing. People who saw 2017 are going to want to see 24 because they're going to want to see it again. People who missed 17 realized what they missed when their friends came back and told them how, you know, how great it was. So they're going to want to see 24. He also told me a story about museum directors, I think, from Tennessee and the surrounding areas, you know, if for the science museums around, driving down like in their cars and, and sometimes getting here like right at the end of, you know, closing when you guys are trying to close to pick up big orders. Do you remember anything about that? Yes, there was uh, not just science centers, but it was also people who wanted to sell product on the street. Okay. And as the prices had gone up, there was more and more people who wanted to go out and sell Eclipse classes for five bucks, 10 bucks sure. on the street. Yeah. And so they were picking them up from us, buying them wholesale and heading oh, back oh, out. Oh, so so they're... Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It's just people weren't prepared. They didn't really know how big a deal this was. And the way I understand it from reading the history of your company, you've made 3D glasses and holiday glasses and fireworks glasses and, and everything for, for many, many years. But you've actually done Eclipse glasses from a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously it wasn't as big as 2017, but you did, you've been doing them for years. Yes, uh, started the business in 1990 and we did the, the uh, Mexican and Hawaiian eclipse right. in 1991. So we've been making 3D glasses for 33 years and making eclipse glasses for 32 years. Yeah, and I, I think a lot of people don't know that you've been doing eclipse glasses really for that long. I mean, certainly I didn't. I mean, I thought maybe 2017 was your first experience. How's the factory working? Everything, uh, everything running good? 
It's going fine. Yep. <laughs> Just uh, got to, you know, keep getting those orders out, uh, mm-hmm. getting them made. There's a lot of customized orders for right. schools, municipalities, chambers of commerce, uh, and then uh, doctors and optometrists. And, and a lot of universities are buying glasses. We're getting really large orders from universities. I'm glad you brought that up. Your design process online, which I did two times in 2017, works really, really well. And your staff is very, very helpful for getting the template you know, done and, and putting the information you want about your particular business where you want it. So that all works very smoothly. I, I think you guys do a great job. Well, thanks. Yeah, we try to make it easy, but we have to guide people because there's a lot of art coming in. So we've got a couple of staff artists here that will say, okay, let's drop this in, let's do this, get it. Because we're looking for that quick approval. Anyway, I want to tell the audience a really important point. Uh, American Paper Optics is working hard up here to make glasses for everybody. Don't wait to the last minute to try to get your glasses. Um, call them or get on your website and you know order them early and, uh, and get them coming. Custom glasses are a great idea. Uh, for fundraising or just for your school or for your business, uh, for publicity for your business. So I recommend doing that. But again, it takes some graphic design time and then production time. So uh, order early. And then I just want to thank you guys again for taking the time at this busy time, you know, getting ready for these two eclipse, eclipses to, to meet with me and, and talk about your factory and what you do and, and how much you do for everybody. It's great, and let's all hope for some clear skies. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. To make a pair of glasses, the first thing you have to do after the graphics are designed, you've got to print the sheet. Great. Okay? So this is some of our own stock design. Uh, four of them. Our patriotic, our burning sun, our jet moons, and our North American. So print the sheet, step one. Step two. You have to die cut the eye hole. So the teeth running through there. See? Yeah. The die in here that's cutting it. Mm-hmm. And then we gotta knock those eye holes out. Oh well, yeah, they're being punched out. So this is 68, 68 eye holes. Wow. Uh, every persistent cut. And then the teeth delivered. Yeah, look at that. And you have a final teeth. So yeah. there it is once it's been cut. Okay. Now you need to put a perp in there so it folds perfectly. Right. So that's the sheet after it's been cut. So step, step one print, step two, die cut the eye hole. Step three, we gotta get the film in there. Right. So that same sheet, different design here. Mm-hmm that in here. So here's a combination of different jobs we're doing here in St. Marcos, Texas. Uh-huh. Uh, there's some other custom brands and then somebody put that in there. You gotta get glue mm-hmm. on the press sheet around the eye hole. Come through and the clip film oh, yeah. is being released every 24 inches and dropped on there. Customers, where does the sort then come out on the final cut? Oh, okay. So that's step three. Okay. Again, print, die cut, glue, and now we got to do sheet. Okay. Yeah, see, all for the, uh, these are all going up to the Niagara Falls area. Okay. Niagara Region of Emergency Management, like uh-huh. FEMA, but Canadian version of it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All custom branded. This wow. is from Ohio School. Three hundred 
thousand for the National Science Foundation. Wow. So that's just they're a, beautiful. It's a nice one. Yeah. Um, again, our own brand. Step four. Step four, you got to cut the shape. The okay. Perimeter. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing here. Okay. Coming right through, being oh, cut yeah. and delivered. Okay. She shut, cut, and so it's 17 glasses. Yeah. We'll slide down here. And then they're counted out in 50s. Okay. We got all sorts of different jobs going right. on. Yeah. So counting them out in 50. Beautiful. The Southwest. Yeah. Adventist University. Yeah. Rotary Club. So it's amazing how neat it comes out. And then you have um, Adventure Science Center. Yeah. They're doing them again. Beautiful. Amazing. I love it. I love everything about it, John. And then B&H Photo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Totally I buy a lot of like stuff from B&H. Oh. We're packing up their glasses. Oh, yeah. That's what they're doing over there, bagging them. And uh, lots of glasses. That's pretty. Yeah. So, 